Okay, good afternoon everyone. Good day everyone. Uh, we are interviewing Ma'am Gladys Laborde of the Nutrition and Dietetics Department of Adventist University of the Philippines. And our topic uh, today is about nutrition. So we have some questions, Ma'am. Uh, how are you, Ma'am? I'm fine. Thank you po for accepting our interview. Now, first question po about nutrition is, uh, what are the effects of bad or good nutrition? Okay, so bad nutrition basically can lead to malnutrition because bad means mal or mal means bad. Mm -hmm. And malnutrition can either lead to undernutrition or overnutrition. When we say undernutrition, it might be the thinness or underweightness of a person. And overnutrition is obesity or overweightness, which mm -hmm. will lead to non communicable diseases such as mm -hmm. a stroke, cancer, cardiovascular diseases, diabetes. Mm -hmm. Whereas undernutrition can lead to uh, anemia mm -hmm. and other bad effects on the health. Whereas good nutrition can reduce the risk to these diseases. So we need to have optimal or good nutrition so that all of us will be healthy. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Bro. Next question po is how do we uh, shift from to better kind of nutrition. So basically, you just need to choose wisely of the food that is available. So think that eating healthy is not a sacrifice. So just think that it is a blessing for you to become a healthy person. Uh, is, is vegetarianism uh, part of that uh, better nutrition? Or is it more expensive to be a vegetarian? Uh, being vegetarian can lead to a good health and being a vegetarian can be expensive if you will not plan well because nowadays uh, fruits and vegetables are expensive so it will be very costly but if you will plan well and choose fruits and vegetables that are less expensive so it will not be very expensive to have vegetarian uh, meals for example you will just uh, use malunggay so it's just free from your neighbor or guava or kamyas as your fruit so it will give you good health in a low cost okay thank you so much uh, for example how do we learn how to cook good and healthy food it's very easy to cook uh, healthy foods or even without cooking because raw foods are prepared without cooking so like salads so it's very healthy nutritious with minimal preparation but if you want to cook uh, healthy foods just be innovative combine different flavors and colors of fruits and vegetables so you don't need any special skills in cooking vegetarian foods also like the rainbow no, choose the rainbow color rainbow to get colors. all the nutrients that you need i see uh, how does uh, your department <clears throat> or the program here in AUP contribute to better nutrition for the masses? Uh, as nutrition department of the Adventists, we are advocating vegetarianism, which based on studies can really prevent a lot of illnesses or diseases around the world. So to be a vegetarian is better than those who are non-vegetarian when it comes to the 
health because vegetarianism can reduce the risk of having bad uh, health or diseases. So, uh, how, how do I learn more about the nutrition program in AUP? So, the nutrition program in AUP um, covered community nutrition or public health nutrition. It also covered hospital nutrition, food service, as well as research. So, when you study nutrition in AUP, it's very holistic. So after graduation, you will really be of service either in the community, at a restaurants or hotel, or at research, or in the hospital. So it's very broad. So you can uh, help a lot of people. Okay, thank you po. And maraming salamat po. And uh, have a nice day po. Thank you po oh, for your thank time. Thank you very much. I'm so